There's an old saying that a leader is hard to find, but easy to recognize. As an overnight police reporter, he covered the strange stuff that often happens between midnight and 6 a.m., and he did it well. I wouldn't know the value of the pursuit of journalistic excellence without him. When the local cable company installed a television studio into Lufkin High School, I fell in love. My dad was in the grocery business. I hated the grocery business. I began looking for a way out. That gave me the nerve shortly after my senior year started to go out to the TV station. Everything from operating the camera to directing the show to working audio, changing the light bulbs, sweeping up at the end of the day, it was my ticket out of the grocery business and out of Lufkin. I was ready to leave my hometown. Kenny was a sort of news prodigy. I don't think most people know that he was hired here at KPRC TV when he was only 19 years old. The newsroom was run by Ray Miller, a legend in the business, on his first day on the job. First place he is sent is to a mass grave. It scared me to death at the time. I was not aware that this was a big deal. It's Wayne. Yes, this is Mama, baby. I killed Dean. Well, after a week of working 24-hour days, uh, I went to the, to the news director, Ray Miller, and I said, I don't think I can do this every day. And he said, well, you know, Kenny, this does not happen every day. This was a big story. This was history that you witnessed, and you'll be able to talk about this the rest of your life. As some of you know, in the early years, Kenny appeared in front of the camera, not behind it. The League of Women Voters is appealing to Americans. Those but is it really tapes of my time? early anchor work, we came to which Georgia's I have not seen for 40 years. It was like I was looking at someone I knew, like an old friend. I knew him from the past, but I had moved on and left him behind. Let me tell you about the time I worked with Kenny Bowles. The Michael Jackson story was breaking. Bowles was standing behind the desk on the phone, usually two phones, working that story himself with an exclusive already in his hand. But it was when Kenny decided to come back home, back to East Texas, and to the legendary KLTV, that he found his true calling. He's been a teacher and a guide, and in some ways a father figure. You just don't see major top market experience news directors training and, and working with new college grads just starting out in journalism. I've learned a lot from you. You've given me an amazing foundation, and I just want to thank you so much for all you've done. I visited KLTV earlier this year, and as I walked into the newsroom, I saw the big sign over the door that says, Journalism Happens Here. That's a testament to the great professional Kenny is, and it shows where his priorities have always been. Every time you reach out to give a piece of advice or to assist and to help younger journalists, uh, you're laying a hand in the next generation. Uh, they're they're going to carry the torch on, uh, and to have to have the opportunity to influence them in a positive way and in a good way uh, is is just one of the most incredible rewards of doing uh, what I do.